So in this video, we are going to learn how to calculate the discriminant of a quadratic equation and how to determine or describe the nature of its roots. The general quadratic formula is given by the expression x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now, what's inside the square root is called the discriminant and it is given by b is equal to b squared minus 4ac and it is used to determine or describe the nature of the roots of a particular quadratic equation. Now, whenever the discriminant is greater than zero, the equation will have two real and different roots. Or better still, two distinct roots. And if the discriminant is equal to zero, the equation will have two real and equal roots. And whenever d is less than zero, the equation will have two imaginary or complex roots. So given some quadratic equations, we should be able to calculate the discriminant and describe the nature of its roots. So let's try this together. Given a quadratic equation, 2x squared minus x minus 1. What is the discriminant of this equation and what is the nature of its roots? We all know that any quadratic equation is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So doing some form of comparison, we know that a is equal to 2, b is equal to negative 1, and c is also equal to negative 1. Now let's find the discriminant. The discriminant is given by b squared minus 4ac. Now b is negative 1. A is 2 and C is negative 1. Negative 1 all squared is 1. And then 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So we are going to have 1 minus 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And then 1 minus negative 8 is equal to 9. So the discriminant is equal to 9. Now, since the discriminant, which is equal to 9, is greater than 0, it means that the equation has two real and different roots, or it has two distinct roots. So let's confirm using the general quadratic formula. Now, the general quadratic formula is given by x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So from the equation, a was equal to 2, b was equal to negative 1, and then c, negative 1. So let's plug the values of a, b, and c into the general quadratic formula. So x is equal to negative b is negative 1 so you have negative 1 plus or minus the square root of the discriminant and then the discriminant was 9 so we have 9 here divided by 2a a is 2 so we are going to have x is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 9 is 3 so we have 3 divided by 4 so the first solution is x is equal to 1 plus 3 divided by 4. 1 plus 3 is 4 and 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. So x is equal to 1. And then the second solution is x is equal to 1 minus 3 divided by 4. 1 minus 3 is negative 2 divided by 4. 
2 goes into a self once and then into 4 two times so x is equal to negative 1 over 2 so the roots of this particular quadratic equation is x is equal to 1 and then x is equal to negative 1 over 2 so the quadratic equation has two real and different roots or two distinct roots let's try another example let's say we have the quadratic equation 4x squared minus 12x plus 9 what is the discriminant for this equation and what is the nature of its root? Now a is equal to 4, b is equal to negative 12, and c is equal to 9. And we know that the discriminant is given by b squared minus 4ac. So d is equal to negative 12 squared minus 4. And then a is 4 and c is 9. Negative 12 squared is 144. 4 times 9 is 36. Four times 36 is 144. So the discriminant is equal to zero. Since the discriminant is equal to zero, the equation will have two real and equal roots or sometimes we can say that it has only one real root. Now let's confirm the answer using the general quadratic formula. So once again, the general quadratic formula is given by negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. a was equal to 4, b was negative 12, and then c was 9. So let's plug the values of a, b, and c into this formula. x is equal to negative into bracket negative 12 plus or minus the square root of 0 divided by 2a. a is 4. So x is equal to 12 plus or minus 0 divided by 2 times 4 is 8. Notice that the plus or minus affect the 0. So we can have x to be equal to 12 divided by 8, which is equal to 3 over 2. So this is the only real root of the quadratic equation. Now let's use the method of factorization to make things very simple for us. So the equation was 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. Let's say it's equal to 0. The coefficient of the x squared term is 4. And then the constant is 9. So we want to multiply 4 times 9. Now 4 times 9 is 36. And factors of 36 are 1 and 36. 2 and 18. 3 and 12. 4 and 9. And then 6 and 6. Now, which set of values multiply to 36 and add up to negative 12? Negative 6 minus 6 is equal to negative 12. So we select 6 and 6. So this equation can be expanded to have 4x squared minus 6x minus 6x plus 9 is equal to 0. Now, the GCF between 4x squared and negative 6x is 2x so we have 2x on the outside and then 4x squared divided by 2x is 2x and then 6x divided by 2x is 3 the gcf between 6x and 9 is 3 so we have 3 on the outside and then 2x minus 3 inside the bracket is equal to 0 so we have 2x minus 3 and then 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. So the first one, we are going to have 2x is equal to 3. We divide both sides of the equation by 2. And then x is equal to 3 over 2. So for the second one, we also have 
2x is equal to 3 and then we divide both sides of the equation by 2 and then we also have x is equal to 3 over 2 so actually the equation has two real roots but they are equal so when you have the discriminant of a quadratic equation to be equal to 0 it is correct to say that the equation will have two real and equal roots or the equation will have only one real root. Let's take another example. Given the quadratic equation 3x squared minus 2x plus 4. What is the nature of its root? So straight away, let's find the discriminant. d is equal to b squared minus 4ac. b is equal to negative 2, a is equal to 3, and c is equal to 4. So we have negative 2 squared minus 4 into brackets 3 and then 4. Negative 2 squared is 4. And then 4 times 3 is 12. And 12 times 4 is 48. So we have negative 48. And then 4 minus 48 is negative 44. Now since d is less than 0, then it means that the equation will have two complex roots or two imaginary roots. Now let's confirm that. Using the general quadratic equation, we know that x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now b is negative 2, so we have negative into brackets, negative 2 plus or minus and then the square root of negative 44 divided by 2a and a is 3. Negative 1 times negative 2 is 2. So plus or minus the square root of negative 44. But we can separate that to have square root of negative 1 times square root of 44 divided by 2 times 3 is 6. So we can have x is equal to 2 plus or minus. Now, the square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So we have i times, and then the square root of 44 is square root of 4 times square root of 11 divided by 6. x is equal to 2 plus or minus i times the square root of 4 is 2 times the square root of 11 divided by 6. So x is equal to 2 plus or minus 2 root 11 i divided by 6. Now 2 goes into itself once and then into 6 3 times. So we can have x to be equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 11 i divided by 3. So the first solution is x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 11 i divided by 3. And then the second solution is 1 minus the square root of 11 i divided by 3. So these are the two imaginary roots or the two complex roots of this particular quadratic equation. So in summary, the discriminant is used to determine the nature of the roots of a quadratic equation. If the discriminant is greater than zero, then the equation has two real and different roots. Or better still, two distinct roots. And if d is equal to zero, the equation has two real and equal roots. Or better still, only one 
real root and if the discriminant is less than zero the equation will have two imaginary or two complex roots